Let us now discuss a little more about crop rotation and cultivating mixed crops to understand how the nutrients in the soil can be replenished and can also reduce the usage of chemical fertilizers. Crop rotation means cultivating different crops in different seasons. It means that only one type of crop is not cultivated continuously. How does it benefit the crops and soil? We know that cereal crops like rice, wheat need a lot of nutrients. After a crop of cereals, the farmer cultivates leguminous plants like clover, peas, beans, lentils, lupines, soya beans, peanuts, etc. These plants also need nutrients, but they enrich the soil with nitrogenous salts. Many legumes, alfalfa, clover, peas, beans, lentils, soya beans, peanuts and others contain symbiotic bacteria called rhizobia within the root nodules of their root system. These bacteria have the special ability of fixing nitrogen from atmospheric molecular nitrogen into ammonia. When a legume plant dies in the field following a harvest, all its remaining nitrogen is incorporated into amino acids inside the remaining plant parts. These are released back into the soil. In the soil, the amino acids are converted to nitrate, making nitrogen available to other plants, thereby serving as fertilizers for future crops. Even though the nutrients in the soil are used, the soil is still enriched with nitrogenous salts.